Today's video is a new style of video, Tough Love Coaching, which you can get access to on our Patreon, which is going to be the best deal for Overwatch coaching you guys have ever seen. For 20 bucks a month, you'll be able to get access to every single VOD we do. There's a couple extra tiers above this one that will get you Tough Love Coaching on this channel. There's a lot of different things, including a private Discord, give video topics for things that you want me to cover, and generally get access to community events as well. Your carry wouldn't die when you give them all the space for free like it's a Costco sample. My DPS are selling. No! It's going to be down in the description. Uh, feel free to support me on there. I'd really appreciate it. And you're going to get more than what you pay for. Because, again, most coaching sessions out there are 50 bucks, 100 bucks an hour. Something crazy like that. But for 20 bucks, you get access to every single VOD from that month. It's going to be a big deal. So, check out our Patreon and enjoy this tough love coaching. Let's get right to it. All right. Let's, uh, let's do this coaching session, boys. We got Tough Love. Episode 1 of Tough Love, where we do private sessions with people. It's 50 bucks for one session. We'll probably find some way to, like, apply and, like, have a line and a queue for it. Um, but let's go ahead and get the action. He says, console gold one after rank reset. I haven't played much. By the way, you can send any code for anywhere. I feel held back by my aggressiveness and aim. I played ball and ram. My B-Tech is the gal something. The, ga or, or, the Gale Lewis? Smurf account with the actual rank of my main is a plat 5 tank. So... Okay, here we go. Tough love. Okay, so let's see what let's see what he ends up picking here. Okay. Let's see what he ends up picking here. Let's go ahead and get this out of the gate. He's on the ball to start. I'm trying to find him. Alright, ball can be a little bit tough. Your job on this map is gonna be to dive the widow, right? Ball's all about displacement. Let's see what you can find. You can test this widow early. That's a good pile drive. Honestly, I would shoot the mercy first instead of the widow. You're never gonna kill her, right? Oh, nice boop on the tray though. Nice roll. Good combos. Nice pile drive, too. Shoot that Mercy first. Oh, you're shooting the Widow. See, look at this. When you're going up against Mercy, die, buddy. If you are not shooting the Mercy, you are hard trolling. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This is going to be we're ripping right into your soul with this coaching series, buddy. It's all facts, no printer. So, if you are not shooting this Mercy first, dude, you'd have better luck taking on Hell with a squirt gun. You're going to lose every time, especially when you hit that PD on her. If you shoot the Widow, you're just going to end up healing the Mercy because she's going to heal from the Widow. So your play is to always dive this Mercy first. She's your number one target. If you dive that Mercy first, you win that. Instead, you're now forced to kite out at 46 HP, and you have to reset. You could have won the fight for your team right then and there. Instead, you're going to have to set up again here, and your pile drives and setups look great. This is great. If I don't see you shooting this Mercy, I'm going to have a heart attack. Because the Kiri's just going to come in and do that. And the Mercy going to pop. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just shoot the Mercy, bro. You, you've done everything right. You've done everything right except for shoot at the wrong target. You're just shooting in the wrong spot. And then the Widow gets the kill. And there's two. And then that's... Yep. There you go. There's three. Yep. 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 And your whole team dies. You can't script it any better. All you have to do is shoot the mercy. Shoot the mercy, dog. That's it. Shoot at the mercy, win the game. That's it. You, you're like, again, pile driving that widow is enough because if you shoot the mercy while you're in front of her, she cannot shoot your team, right? So just shoot at that, shoot at that mercy the whole game. She dies every time. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, you, you, you just like, you just have to go for their mercy. Like, like if it's a mercy, right? Like, don't shoot it. Don't sh shoot the Widow if it's, like, a, a support that's not Mercy. But Mercy, you can kill. If you can kill the support with one CD rotation, like an Ana or a Mercy, you kill them. If your team's dying. You're a little early. I'm begging you to shoot this Mercy. I'm on my hands and knees! Okay, 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 hold on. Listen, dog. Your Lucio dives the Mercy. Your Lucio dives the Mercy. She's shooting the Mercy. You go on the Widow first. Why are you not shooting this Mercy? You're trolling. Look, dude. Why? Like, you, you, you kill this Mercy with your Lucio. You have the perfect dive. You're just shooting the wrong target. Dude, if this, if this was fucking basketball practice in high school, you'd be running suicides the rest of practice for doing this. Like, seriously, dude. You would not stop running, man. You're trolling. You're trolling. You had her dead. Oh, uh, then you mine air. Okay. Nice. You get the tracer. You zone her out. I'm begging you to go for, like, the Mercy. Now, go for that Kiri. Okay, here's the key. Most important thing in the game, okay? Your first dive is ball, especially against things like Kiri Brig, are not to get a kill. 
It's to split their team and then go get a kill on the second dive after you force their cooldowns, okay? It's not about the first dive. You need to look to the second dive. So by recognizing that you zone them out, you then decided to go for the Kiri. Okay, she TPs out and she's low, which means she has no cooldowns. So the second you force her, your next thought is to go for this Kiri. Now he's vulnerable. Look at his cooldowns, right? Nothing. Nothing. He's got nothing, dude. He's like the air nomads after Aang left. They have fucking air. They're screwed, right? So now what you need to do is you need to go for that Kiriko, bro. You go chase her. Go get her. No, no! I'm gonna pray for you tonight. I'm not even religious, by the way. I'm gonna pray for you tonight. This is just this is just the fucking Harlem Globetrotters. You're just running around creating a circus. Okay. But now you know what to do. You gotta go for that Kiriko. You're on the widow. Shoot the mercy for the love of God. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Wait a minute! He dove and shot the mercy and she died? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Perfect, man. Now you're going for the Kiri. Don't shoot the bubbles, you back. For that tray, you need to reset. You need to reset. Oh my goodness gracious. Good, nice. You reset a little bit. They're pressuring the widow out right now. She's gonna die. Boop the res. That's a broken ability. That's okay. Now you go behind them. You got your minds. You can use. Oh no, buddy. Shoot the mercy, please. Please shoot. That's a good minefield. Good. Shoot the mercy. He's just not shooting the mercy. He's just not shooting the mercy. You're you're actually lit. Your your only problem is you're not shooting at the mercy. You've won this fight. You, you, you do everything right, you win the fight for your team, and then you just decide to not punch your ticket home. You win this fight for your team. You split them, just like you did on that last point where you split them and you have to decide on who to go on. You split them and then just decided to airbend. You just decided to meditate. You became a pacifist, all right? If you want to climb an Overwatch, you can't be a pacifist. You got to grow some balls and start playing the game, dude. That's what you got to do. Again, you're running in, if that's high school basketball, you're running the rest of practice for this. Look at this. Look at this, buddy. You what, do you have a crush on her? Is she your crush? Is that why you're not shooting her? You got a crush on her? Wake up, buddy. It's not third grade. You're playing competitive. You're trying to win. What is this? What are you doing? You've won the game. You've won the fight. She's toast. She's going to go on the Overwatch forums after this and complain about how your hero's OP. But you're just trying to be a gentleman out here, trying to let the Mercy players live. Well, guess what, buddy? It's ruthless out there in Overwatch 2 competitive. And if you're not out there with the killer instinct, you're going to stay in gold for the next 40 seasons. Shoot the Mercy. You, you do everything right, man. You do everything right. You just got to shoot that Mercy. Let's see if he shoots her now. No, he decides to shoot the Kiriko. Okay. And then your Sim dies on cart. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not pretty, guys. Now, good peel back on the Tracer. Good PD on the Kiri. See if you can force her. Oh. Nice. Okay, that's actually okay. That's actually a better trade for you guys. Because you're still going to get cart. You need to stabilize your half health. Make sure you're full resetting, because you need you would you're you're gonna die now. Now, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Was the mercy dead? So now he could go for the widow. You guys see the fight flow here, right? That widow dies when the mercy's dead. So you can get a two for one by pile driving the widow mercy and shooting the mercy in front of the widow, because that widow has to turn and help his mercy, right? So you get two for one, and you actually have a chance to get the kill. So then, after you kill the Mercy on your next setup, you can go for that Widow. So you, then you go back to point. This is good. Beats gets popped. Shoot the Kiri. Actually, that's okay, too. I take that back. I'm wrong. If the Mercy is dead, if you have killed one of the supports, then you can start shooting the tank. Only if you've killed one of the supports, you can start shooting the tank. But if there's two supports alive, you cannot shoot the tank. Nice roll on the Kiriko. Look to deny this res, because I guarantee she does it. She's had the res sickness all game. She's gone. All right, good. And if you notice this, buddy, you're winning the fights when you're shooting the Mercy, and you're losing the fights where you don't. Nice roll. They swapped a Sombra for you. You're chilling. Good roll around. You're, you don't have to force anything here. You just need to wait for Cart. 
And we're actually gonna speed this up a little bit. Um, we're gonna go to like 1.25 at least. So let's see. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. What's he doing? What's he doing? Wraps in, shoots Mercy again, fourth baits the Sombra. Okay, not bad. Oh, you almost rolled through her. Keep shooting her. Nice mind pop. They go they go to break, which is a harder matchup for you. Now you just play slower. He did he miss the club? Hey, yo. You need to push cart though. Make sure, like, listen, the most important thing to climb is understanding when to fight. You guys are, dude, this is so dumb. What are you guys doing? Push the fucking payload. Like, going up here and getting kills is quite literally useless if you have no one on cart. So pushing cart comes first. So now you just chill. They use Valk. You don't even have to fight. Sombra's gonna die. You're gonna shoot the Mercy. Try to kill her. She's gonna get the res. That's fine. You're gonna shoot the Sombra next. She probably won't die with those supports up. You need to go for supports again. Wow, they trolled. Holy shit. Still go for supports first there. And you get the supports to Bob on point. Nice. Now, you can go for that Sombra if they Bob point to zone off the supports. And your Lucio's diving with you. It's just generally better to go for the backline first. So, notice the fights he was winning, chat. What was he doing right? He, what he was doing right was he was t going after those supports instead of going for the DPS. And the fights he was losing were the fights where he was going for the DPS first instead of the supports. It's a very simple concept. Divide and conquer. Your first dive against heroes like Kiriko. Uh, not necessarily Mercy, but Kiriko, Moira. Your first dive is to split them, right? It's not to kill. You'll never kill them. After you force that, you then need to ask yourself, which targets do I have a better advantage of killing? If the Moira goes left and the DPS go right and right side is closer to your team, you then go to right side and go for payload, right? That's what you do. And when he was splitting and then turning on the targets, he was winning. But the fights he was losing were the fights where he was splitting them and not actually committing on the right target. Like that Mercy. You were honestly doing well on ball. I don't know why you switched. Ram on this map is a, is a bad pick. Ram is not a good pick on this map. You cannot contest the high grounds, which would help your DPS win the fight. Now you're forced to play low ground against Zenyatta and Mei. So you should switch Ram the next life. If you want to play tank in Overwatch 2, you need to learn how to counter swap. Your Genji dies. See, you're not contesting anything here. And that's fine. You can be setting up high ground, but like your hero can't excel versus their comp. So you need to switch back to ball the next life. Now you can drop cart here. There you go. And now you set up in server room most likely. So you're poking out Tracer. You're poking early, which is good. This is what you need to be doing. You need to be poking early and trying to contest building that uh, that annihilation. And this soldier's walking up. Look to contest with a slow here. Oh man. Shield first, buddy. Shield first so you can get a better angle on the slow. You need a touch. You need a touch. You need a touch. Set up in server room. Tracer's gonna be one shot. Y you're not. Wh wh where are you? Where are you? He said. He types in chat and says, "Your DPS are selling. What the fuck are you doing?" Dora the Explorer, get your ass on point. You're the tank. What is the Disney Channel special? It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. Yo, Dora, how about you fucking map your ass back to point? The fuck you're gonna tell me your DPS are selling? Where the fuck are you? I never want to hear you blame your DPS again until you're at least diamond. Ever. What are you doing here, dude? You pick a shit hero, don't touch cart, and then tell me your DPS are selling? That's gold, all right. Don't worry, though, guys. He's got a good view of Gibraltar. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You're... It's almost like if you were contesting cart like you're supposed to as a tank, your carry wouldn't die when you give them all the space for free like it's a Costco sample. My DPS are selling. No, you're selling. You, on the line, run. Run! I would, if this was me in basketball, dude, I, I'm running until the sun sets. If it was baseball practice, foul pole to foul pole. Get your ass on the point. Jesus. And now you lose your hold. And because you didn't contest cart early. By the way, because you didn't contest cart down here, you don't even get two fights. You single-handedly gave up that entire point by yourself. That was on you. You didn't contest once. You didn't. You, you just, just terrible.
Terrible on the line, but I, I I actually do want you to understand that though Like you need to, if you're gonna play Ram you need to contest the cart like you can even contest it down here Contest it from server room, right? But you fucking flanked and let them push it for free the whole time while you're picking daisies in right field You're that one kid in Little League who parents signed them up to make friends, which is great I'm still friends with a lot of those guys But the coach can only play them two fucking innings in right field because they're literally like lost children picking daisies out there He said his DPS sold. I mean come on man Come on, man. No, 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 no. We're that's that's silly. Hopefully we see the ball swap. No, he's gonna stay on Ramatra. Okay. Absolutely terrible pick on this map. You cannot contest anything and you still have not swapped. Like this dude play dude, you you, you are playing so scared and you still have not touched card. You just gave congratulations. Congratulations, man. You have now given them three points for free in a row. All three in a row. You've given them three. Oh my god, dude. I, I can't believe what I'm watching right now. I cannot believe what I'm you have given them three points for free. Do you work at Costco? Are you just handing out samples? You're free, buddy. You're free. Discount. I can get a coupon for you in the fucking paper every morning. What are you doing? And then the worst part is you're not even going to contest high ground now. Oh, you better walk in there. Shield first. And then you... You could not have made a worse play like in the last two minutes. So one, you need to start by shielding this and slowing before you just nem. Shielding first is a better CD cycle for Ram because you can shield them, shoot the diva out from behind you instead of walking into a kill box where you just instantly die. Then you can pop nem and then layer your ult after and go get a kill. So now you're back, this is good. You need to try to kill diva. Look to walk with that shield. You missed the shield, but that's okay. Uh, pop nem and block. This is T-ball level intellect. I'm watching. So you finally ult for the first time in like seven minutes. You finally ult. You, you need to go back and spawn and switch back to ball. Like it's crazy to me that you told me your DPS were selling when you did so much on ball. And then you just switched to Ram for no reason. I don't. Don't swap until they make you swap when you're playing well. It's, it's, it's a big lesson to learn. Uh, you're doing a good job pressuring out and shielding early. That's what you need to do as Ram here, is you need to be shielding early and poking for your next ult. But this is good. You're playing this corner, waiting for your next shield. Good slow, good slow. You can nem him out, maybe, maybe. Oh my, user never kill him! Nice job, buddy. Good nano. Finish the baby behind you. You need to finish that baby behind you. You need to finish the baby diva behind you. You need to finish the baby diva. This is really dangerous here. This is really dangerous here. You do everything right. Once you, look at this. Once you kill Zen, it's okay to turn for Zen here, okay? Because he's the threat. But the second you kill Zen, you need to turn on this D.Va. Because not only is he going to build mech on you, but if you keep walking forward, you walk into the worst possible thing, a kill box, right? This is how you lose every single time, right? Where you have one player shooting you from here and one player shooting you from here. If they have a pinch on you, you will die. This goes back to fucking wars, literally in fucking ancient Greece, World War II, you name it. What happens when you force a war on two fronts? You get shit on every time every time you get shit on. So by walking down mid and not killing the easiest target you have to kill and walking into a kill box, you troll the game. So not only do you, you're lucky that the worst thing that happened is that he got out because you probably th you threw here as well. I'm not gonna lie. You're sitting here blaming your DPS this game. Your DPS are positioned well. You are the player that is in fucking Narnia, dude. Uh, it's like, it's 2008. You're literally on the set, dude. They're through the closet coming out the gate in Narnia. You're just fucking nowhere to be found. So yeah, that's on you, bro. You gotta be careful with that. Because he visors now, right? Behind you. Th their, their soldier uses visor. And he could easily turn and kill you. And he almost does. And he almost does. And you're lucky your Reaper saves you here. My DPS soul. Your Reaper bails you out. You made a terrible mistake there. And your Reaper bails you out. So, honestly, you got lucky. Not every teammate's going to be able to do that for you. So you're closing your ult. You can start high if you want to, but you've been pressuring well. These two fights have been way better than the first three ones that you gave up for literal free. Because now the cart... Do you guys see this, what I mean, though? He let them push cart all the way up here. And once the cart crosses this point, it's past the halfway mark, right? Once it's past the halfway mark, it's one fight instead of two. So when it's in front of the halfway mark and you fight close, if they have to burn all their ults to win how the ult cycle works is you'll come back with another chance with all your ults. So you'll be able to hold this point and win the game. Kiri dies. If you see them up there, you need to go help them. 
but you're fighting for cart. We can stall this. Honestly, I'd stall this forever with your ult. You just stall, just block. Oh, nice kill. Just block, just block. Don't walk in, you're down two. Just stall. All you have to do is lift. The only way you lose is if you die. Nice. Good job. Good job. Nice. The first good play you've made all game. This is the big mistake players make, chat, is they feel like they have to aggress there. You don't. When you're down, players just stall the point to live. And if you had done this on first point, you might have won the game already. You might have won the game already if you had done this on first point. That's exactly what you need to do as tank to get value on the objective. No, look for a shield. You needed to sit. Okay. Anyway, when they go sig, you need to shield earlier because now they're on poke. And again, your DPS are lower. You need to shield and draw aggro onto you. Oh my god, they lost a player. Oh, somebody left the game on their team. That's actually so bad. They have a lever. You need to shield this. But you, again, you shield second. That's terrible. Watch. He's going to be stuck with no CDs for a really long time. And now you're on his dad. All right, lever. That's unlucky. You would have won that game. Hog swap. Okay. What? You want to explain to me why you walk out of spawn here when you can literally press one button and teleport out for free? You just feeling generous again? You got a crush on an Ox King Outlaw? You just want to feed them a little bit, make them feel better, giving out charity? I didn't, I didn't realize this was a charity game. I forgot about the thing, bro. I forgot about it. Oh, you forgot to play? On the line! You're running! You're running the rest of practice. What are you doing? Get on the line. You know what? Every time you do that, I want you to do 50 push-ups. I'm not kidding. 50 damn push-ups every time you do that stupid shit. I forgot to play. I forgot to play. You know what happened to me if I forgot to play as the point guard? I got benched. I didn't get to play. You got a giant ass thing on your screen. You're just not paying. You're lazy. You're playing lazy. Don't make it. Don't give me no excuse. All right. Well, unfortunately, you just have a lever here. So, like, there's not much I can really tell you. Other than Hog is not the switch, you'd be better off going Sigma. Because now you're just going to take more damage than you can heal on the front line. And your Ana also gets shot for free as well. So, Sig is the right play. Even if you're killing here, it doesn't matter because you have such a big deficit. Reaper's going to get one. Nice. That was so lucky. Yeah, your Reaper's bailing you out big time. All right, let's see. If this guy doesn't come back, there's not much else to say here. This ends now. All right, let's see. You trade. You should go like ball or something. All right, unlucky lever. All right, he comes back. It was a support, too. That's the hardest thing to do. Now you guys just need to back up. Okay, listen, listen, dude. Listen, listen, listen. Once your whole team dies, you just need to back out. Like, why are you staying here? You staying here is forcing your Kiri up here. What are you doing? Just back up. You're trying to do too much. Just back up when you're down players and fully reset. Oh my god. So now, instead of wasting one fight, in all your brilliance, you decide to waste two. Why? What do you gain from doing this shit? This is, this, this is the worst possible play a human being could make, right? I'm not, you think I'm exaggerating, I'm not. There is not a worse play than what you are doing right now. You could not be worse at the video game for this. It would have been better if when everybody died on Widow, to their Widow, that you inted onto the payload by yourself and died contesting cart. Instead, you don't contest cart, feed the entire time, waste all your cooldowns, and force your carry out. You are throwing in more ways than is humanly possible right now. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. You weren't thinking. That's the problem. You just need to start thinking. Act like it's your life on the line. Would you just walk into damage? Would you just walk into bullets in, in a war? No. So you, first of all, you need to start with your spear. You need to start with your jab spin before you use fortify as Orisa. It, it's spear, fortify, spear, spin, right? So now you're going to be, now you have nothing for seven seconds. You, you've wasted seven seconds and you've given up the entire map against Sigma because you dropped when you shouldn't have and use the wrong cooldown. You could not have played this any worse than you did. So let's see what ends up happening. You can't peek. Okay, you ego peek. You ego peek a Widow. 
Because you have no cooldowns, you get almost two shot. You force all of the healing on you, so now your DPS can't get any healing. And uh, you have to hard reset, and they're going to be able to walk with their cooldowns. You're lucky that you have Fortify. You pop Fortify, you shoot the shield. You try to push out the Widow. You're going to push into their team with no CDs. Maybe you get something, and okay. You're, you're lucky. You're honestly lucky. You're honestly very, very lucky. That should have been way worse. And if I had to guess your rank, I'd say you're silver. I think gold is generous with how you're playing. Hopefully you still win this game. We're about to find out. You're just, you're making too many mistakes. Oh goodness. Oh goodness gracious. Their comp is not good for you. That is not fun. That is not fun. Yeah, you can't play ball versus that. You should probably just go, honestly, you can play, you play Orisa. You play Orisa or Sigma. Um, let's see what he does here, guys. So he's gonna roll in, stun, hacked. Yeah, no. The first thing you need to do as ball is scout their comp, right? You have to scout their comp. You need to immediately swap ball. Zarya's good, honestly, like, no, nah, you probably can't play ramp. Eh, I don't know if Zarya's good either. You could go D.Va into that, actually. As long as you get charged on point, this actually is not bad. Yeah, you're actually okay here. But you just need to live. And what you need to do here, by the way, is instead of hugging right, is you need to take a wide angle left and use the cart as cover to force this off angle, right? Zarya, you want to create these little micro angles. And honestly, really has any tank. Because if you survive here, you can always hide behind the payload, get healed, and you force this angle that burns their resources before the fight. But because you back this way, and your Torb's on that angle, it's going to be much harder for you to force anything, right? And your Torb walks it down. And that's why you need to be on that angle on the left instead of your Torb. Because you can survive it and he can't. Good kill on the Sombra. Good kill on the Sombra. You're chasing these out. You got to be careful on the main wall. Careful, careful. You have no bubbles. You just wait. You break pylon. Good. You're doing well thus far. Breaking shield and stabilizing. Wait for your cooldowns to come back. You don't have to force anything. Nice. Patient again. Now you walk. Good job. Nice patience, man. Nice patience. Nice bubble. Break his shield slowly. You're closing grab. Oh, God. You're taking too much damage. You're taking too much damage. Don't peek. 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 Holy cow. Okay, good. You won the game. In higher ranks, just wait out the window. Just wait out the window there. That's all you got to do in the higher ranks. Wait out the window. That is very dangerous, and higher level players will punish you for doing that. But luckily, you're in gold. So you turned that around pretty well. Um, I would say the things that you can do better is your target priority, especially on ball. After you split somebody, your first set of cooldowns. If, if they're on Mercy, just kill the Mercy. That's how you can test the Widow the best is kill the Mercy, right? Kill that Mercy, pile drive both of them, then you're good to go. Um, when you're splitting targets, you got to look for the better target, right? That's all you really need to do. It's, 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 you know, you use mines if the Mercy goes to the right, see if anybody gets split and go for the easiest kill after that. Um, Ram, not a good pick on that map. You didn't contest point, Dora the Explorer. You were in Narnia the whole time. You weren't getting your good fights. Uh, and then honestly, like I think you only lost or that went to overtime because you had a lever. Um, but honestly, a good start. Those mistakes are pretty easy to fix. Uh, I think you learned from them today, and that's the first episode of Tough Love. Hopefully, next time you come back around, you learn something valuable, buddy. You've learned something valuable. It's not that Ram isn't your strong suit. Like, you weren't that bad at Ram. It was where you were playing that was the problem. It's not about, it doesn't matter if you know the heroes or not. It's the right pick. You're looking at it the wrong way. He made the right, he made good counter swaps. That's what tanking literally is. Should, am, I, am I just going to tell you that in gold, you shouldn't play the game at all because you don't know any heroes? What? No. He made he made a good pick. He 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 made good swaps. What if their mercy is getting peeled by the other support and the mercy is pocketing the widow? Then you're th then you force three people in the back and you just turn around and kill what's up front after. So okay, all right guys, that's our first episode of Tough Love. That was fun.